हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एग्रीकल्चर नॉलेज स्कूल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ प्लांट पैथोलॉजी इज रोल ऑफ टॉक्सिन्स इन प्लांट पैथोजेनेसिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो टॉक्सिन देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ टॉक्सिन इज मेड बाय द डिफरेंट पैथोजेंस इन द होस्ट फर्स्ट इज पैथोटॉक्सिन सेकेंड इन फाइटोटॉक्सिन एंड थर्ड इज वीवोटॉक्सिन सो लेट्स स्टडी सो रोल रोल ऑफ टॉक्सिन इन प्लांट पैथोजेंस सो वट इज द टॉक्सिन टॉक्सिन कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ माइक्रोबियल मेटाबोलाइट एक्सक्रीटेड एक्जोटॉक्सिन और रिलीज बाय लाइज सेल्स इंडोटॉक्सिन विच इन वेरी लो कंसेंट्रेशन इज डिरेक्टली टॉक्सिक टू द सेल्स ऑफ द सस्पेक्ट इट इज कॉल द होस्ट so the term toxin is used for a product of the pathogen its host or pathogen host interaction which even at very low concentration directly acts on living host protoplasm to influence disease development or symptom expression toxins are different form different from enzymes in that they do not attack structural integrity of host tissues but affect the metabolism of the host because the toxins will act on protoplast of the cell toxin hypothesis so it was given by luke and willer 1955 so toxin hypothesis there are three hypotheses first is a toxin should be produce all symptoms characteristics of the disease second sensi sensitivity to toxin will be correlated correlated with susceptibility to pathogen third is toxin production by the pathogen will be directly related to its ability to cause disease so these are the three different hypotheses which should be done by the a uh, pathogen except victorin the toxic metabolite of cochleobolus victoria the vast majority of toxins associated with plant diseases fail to exhibit all the above characters so victorian uh, does not follow the these above three characters so it is the emission victorian is the emission for the toxin definition so third is classification of toxin so wheeler and look 1963 ke anusar according to the source of origin source of origin toxins are divided into three broad classes namely pathotoxins vivotoxins and phytotoxins so what is the pathotoxins pathotoxins so these are the toxins which play a major role in disease production and produce all or most of the symptoms characteristics of the disease in susceptible plants most of these toxins are produced by pathogens during pathogenesis so example is victorin cochleobolus victoria helminthus sporium victori the causal agent of victoria blight about this is a host specific toxin so pathotoxins is very important for produce production of the pathogenesis because these toxins shows the all symptoms and characteristics of the disease other examples of pathotoxins there are three first is selective second is non selective so in selective is a t toxin hg toxin hs toxin phytoalternarin pc toxin so t toxin means Hel helminthosporum mydis resti hc toxin means helminthosporum carbonum hs toxin means helminthosporum sechari phytoalternarin means alternaria kichukiana and pc toxin means periconia sarsinata so these are the selective and which is the non selective so ten toxin alternaria tenus tap toxin or wild fire toxin it is causal agent of pseudomonas tabiki fasciolo toxin so pseudomonas syringi pethover fasciolicola and third is produced by plant or plant pathogen interaction so which toxin has produced due to the plant and pathogen interaction so it is amyloorin caused by ervinia amylora it is the causal organism of fire blight of apple and pears 
second is phytotoxins so these are the substances produced in the host plant due to host pathogen interactions for which a causal role in disease is merely suspected rather than established so phytotoxins are the products of parasites which induce few or none of the symptoms caused by the living pathogen they are non specific and there is no relationship between toxic production and pathogenicity of disease causing agent so example of phytotoxins is alternaric acid it is caused by alternaria solanae third is vivotoxins so these are the substances produced in the infected host by the pathogen and or its host which functions in the production of the disease but is not itself the initial in inciting agent of the disease so this is these are not the inciting agent of the disease they cause disease with the help of other substrates other substances for example so vivotoxins example is fusaric acid wilt causing fusarium species second is lycomerasmin is caused by fusarium oxysporum forming species lycopersiki and pyricularin pyricularia oryzae so these are the vivotoxin and vivotoxin is searched by t sadashivam scientist classification based on specificity of the toxin so these are the two host specific or host selective toxins second is non specific or non selective toxins so host specific or host selective toxins is first is these are the metabolic products of the pathogens which are selectively toxic only to the susceptible host of the pathogen for example victorin t toxin phytoalternarin and amylorin non specific or non selective toxins so these are the metabolic products of the pathogen but do not have host specificity and affect the protoplasm of many unrelated plant species that are normally not infected by the pathogen for example pentoxin tetoxin fusaric acid pyricularin lycomerasmin and alternaric acid effect of toxins on the host tissues so effect of toxins on host tissues changes in cell permeability toxins kill plant cells by altering the permeability of plasma membrane thus permitting loss of water and electrolytes and also unrestricted entry of substances including toxins cellular transport system especially h plus k plus exchange at the cell membrane is affected so hydrogen and potassium exchange at the cell membrane is affected b disruption of normal metabolic processes so increase in respiration due to disrupted cell balance malfunction of enzyme system so example is pyricularin inhibits polyphenol oxidase uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation and interface with the growth regulatory system of host plant for example restricted development of roots induced by fusarium monelli forming so these are the three toxins which is caused by the different pathogens so thank you for watching this video please like our video share our video and subscribe your video and press the bell icon for upcoming agriculture important videos and thank you for watching agriculture knowledge school youtube channel